Today I'm giving away a bar graph maker and the download link is located in the description of this video or in the comments below, depending on where you're watching this video. So let me kind of walk you through this project. And the first composition you'll notice is this bar composition. That's what we use to create a graph like this. So let me go over here real quick to show you what it is. It's just a simple bar. That's all that is. Now it is fully rigged. Notice lots of code in here. So essentially this becomes like a template, create a new composition, and then you can bring your bar into a new composition. So just like this, we see it in here. Now notice it is a bit short, but you can kind of stretch on it and extend it if you want to. And then we do have this blue area right here. And this is what we call a protected area. That's where the animation happens. And the reason why we have it in here, in fact, we created it with these markers in here. So anything underneath these markers, this one and that one will be protected. So we do have some keyframe animations uh, that are protected. That means if I stretch it, this area won't be stretched. So it is protected. That's what that means. But this thing has lots of properties to adjust and they live in this essential property. So just collapse it down. You'll see all these properties you can adjust. Now notice we have this start value and end value. And if you go to the beginning of the animation, we have a starting value. And then at the end, we have ending value. And notice starting value is zero. I can say 15. And just like that, it will go to 15. I can go to the end here at 65. I can change it to maybe like 85. So just like that, we have starting value, ending value, and that's where you would adjust it in here. Then we have number of decimals. So right now our value doesn't have any decimals, but I can say, hey, let's add one decimal and it will give us one decimal. You can say, let's do two and it'll give us two. Now, obviously it's not in the frame here, so we need to adjust the size of our shape right here. That's where you would do it right there. Then we have a high limit and low limit. So we have like a high limit and then low limit. Right now it's set from zero to 99. So it goes from zero to 99. And if I go over here, notice it goes to 99, but I can change that. I can say, let's go from zero to 65. And then just like that, it will only go to 65. Then we have text size. So that's just to scale the size of the text. Then we have the shape. So we have the value shape. We can adjust the width and the height. That's where you would do it. We have uh, the bar, this bar right here. So you can adjust the width and also the height in here. You can make it smaller. And uh, then we have color. So we have the pink here, so you can change that to any color you want. The same thing for the background color here, you can change it to any color you want. And then we have roundness. Now roundness goes from zero to 100%. And right now it's set to 100. That's why we see all these rounded edges everywhere. But if you want it to be sharp, you just go to zero. And just like that, everything will be sharp. It will have that rectangle look, but you can adjust this. You can add a little bit of roundness or all the way to 100. Now, another thing I want to point out, if you were to select this and uh, change the size of it, notice it gets blurry. So you want to make sure that you check this collapse transformations. When you check this, it will give you the sharp edges. Let me start fresh. I'm going to get rid of this, bring in a new one, maybe put this one over here and then the other one right over here. And so I'll maybe have like five of them. So you can just duplicate all day long like this and uh, maybe put this one on this side. One, two, three, four, five. Maybe this one on that side. One, two, three, four, five. You can select all of them like that and then kind of space them out like this. So that's good. And they're all looking the same, but then you can use this search bar. So we can press Control F and you can search for bar color. And just like that, we have bar color. So anyway, you can adjust that all day long, change it to any color you want. We created five different ones from just one template. Uh, I mean, you can go back to this one and adjust things in here in the controls. You can change uh, maybe the roundness. We can completely go like that and it will do that globally. It's a template, it's just one composition. You change one and it applies it to every single one of them. So obviously you can adjust the values. The same thing, use this search bar, control F to go to search bar. And here you can search for end value. So I can see the end value of each one. So maybe I can set this one, instead of 65, I can set this one to maybe like 15. That one can be 35. Let's go 55. This one can be 75 and uh, 85. So just like that, we can adjust things. We can extend them. We can select all of them, go all the way. And so, yeah, it's gonna animate in like this one by one. And essentially that's how you create the graph.